Hello everyone, welcome back. Lovely to be with you again. Um, right, for those of you who saw my banana muffin video, you will know we had a disaster using the Ninja. But as I promised you, I froze those peculiar shaped muffins that were just total disaster. I froze them and um, today I did say I would make a banana trifle. So that's what I'm doing. It's Sunday afternoon and we're going to have banana uh, trifle for pudding after our main meal. So I'll just um, have a look at those. Those are the little um, they're like half muffins. In this dish, this is a sliced up, one of the muffins sliced up. I'm going to take another one out, slice it into this dish. So I'm going to get that one. Okay, like I say, what, how peculiar, but they actually taste lovely. So I'm just going to cut off little chunks. I think one of these per trifle dish is more than enough. And they taste amazing. I mean, they actually, you know, that what it would have been dreadful to throw them out. So this is a lovely way of using them. You can't actually give them to anyone because they look bizarre. Right, okay. So that's that into there. So my next, now you don't have to do this part of it, but I always like to moisten a sponge. I usually use sherry if I'm just doing sherry sponge, uh, sherry trifle. But this, I'm using um, bowls, creme de bananas. You can pick it up, well, you can pick it up online, but um, you can pick it up in Spain if you're in Spain and bring it back with you. Very cheap over there. So um, it is alcoholic, it's low alcoholic, but you don't have to put it in. But I just, seeing as it's for John and I, there's no kids involved. And it just tastes like, um, it enhances the banana flavour, but also it moistens the um, little muffin up a bit. Okay, that's all you need. There was actually um, one tablespoonful in there because... In my bananas, I actually marinated the fresh banana in there as well because, again, it just really brings a real punch. You, the end, the fles, fl, flavors of banana come out lovely. When I'm doing um, adult version of banoffee pie, that's what I do. Okay, so we've got our marinated bananas going in there. But you can perfectly simple, if you're just doing this for your kids on a Sunday, you just use ordinary fresh bananas. You could always use a little bit of a toffee sauce in there with the sponge. How yummy would that be? Right, okay, just like that. Right, okay. I'm actually gonna make my daughter a big one in here, a biggish one, and they can share it. <laughs> right, okay, so we've got that far. Our next job is the custard. Now, I'm not making my own custard today, you can. I usually do make an egg custard, which I love, but this is my go-to when I'm pushed for time. Just let me get rid of that and rub my hands for one second. Right, so this is Waitrose Madagascan Vanilla Custard. Oh my God, it's so delicious. So I'm just going to spoon that over the bananas. I mean, what's not to love? You can actually see the vanilla in there. It's not overly sweet either because I... I hate a lot of the instant custards and things because they're just so sweet. Right, next job is going to be cream. So this is, now my husband likes double cream whipped. It makes it heavier. So I am hoping this is not gonna sink and collapse on here. I would tend to use my squirty cream. I use President, um, it has vanilla in it and it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm just going to get another spoon because I'm unsure of the weight of this cream. Mm, I think it's not doing as it should. Yep, that looks quite nice and quite happy with that. My next job is I'm going to put these are cocktail cherries. Now, I absolutely love these, especially when I'm having a cocktail. Um, and what's you know, cherries, bananas, and good old Cadbury's flake. Now, you can if you wish, if you're doing this for children, and you, as I say, you're not going to have that alcoholic -y bit to make it syrupy in the bottom you could put a, a, a toffee sauce but you could also then put your bananas and shred chocolate 
Cadbury's flake over the top before your custard goes on so as you're digging in you can multi-layer these things and really have fun now I'm going to get a can of squirty out and do one squirty for me that's my husband's with the double cream right so this is the cream that I'm talking about this is the one that the only one I like actually the anchor cream it's it's okay but it's very very thin it collapses very quickly and this one I love it because it lasts it stays in form really well and you can taste the vanilla in it totally different ball game so now that to me looks lovely right okay and here we go again and a few cherries some chocolate Oh, that's what I thought I would put on as well. Just give it another little texture. Pistachios. Finely chopped pistachios. Because if you remember, the banana muffins actually have walnut in. So, you know, so you bring it in that element of nut again but on the top. And how simple is that so there you've got the double cream version there which is heavier but it won't collapse this one you need to put it in the fridge but you need to eat it a lot quicker than the double cream that one would stay there till tomorrow this one really wouldn't so if you're using a squirty cream you've got to think 30 40 minutes bosh it <laughs> this one put in the fridge and think that'll do for tomorrow actually leaving that overnight that will infuse beautifully okay but you can you can be you can add different fruits any bits of sponge uh cake madeira cake things like that don't throw them out guys i have in the past when i was younger years ago anything that was two or three days old would just go out i don't now if i can't freeze it i'll use it that day and i'll either make it into a sponge pudding where i pour hot custard on it or i put it into trifles and things like that so give that if you've got muffins left over you could do chocolate muffins put your chocolate muffin in there some chocolate sauce you could use your vanilla custard you can use a blancmange anything you want you could do chocolate and pink for the kids that's always a favorite so be exciting with your desserts don't get too fat though once or twice a week that's it <laughs> okay thanks for watching and give that a go bye for now <laughs>